Hello there, my name is Chef Coleman. And in that last jam session you were listening to, I was in the key of C minor. And you know, just kind of a shuffle, swingy thing. And what I'm focusing on is phrase imitation. So understand that everything that I'm doing in these lesson series are pretty much improvised. I'm coming up with an idea on the fly. Nothing I really worked out. You know, it's just playing music. It's just like speaking. You know, you have the ability to speak and change what you're going to say if the speech is not written. It's the same with music. And when you say something, what follows it is related to something that you just said. And then you create a paragraph or an idea of what you're talking about. Music is the same way. And what's really important, and I think what the student lacks the most, more than anything that I hear with a student playing on stage is they don't understand phrase imitation. Now, even if they do understand phrase imitation, they don't use it. Why? Because they're nervous. Let's say you go on stage and Eddie Van Halen's up there. You're like, oh my God, there's Eddie Van Halen. Oh, I have to play every lick I know. And then you start playing. And you, what happens to the student is they start playing things that are unrelated because they're nervous. The best thing you can do to slow yourself down is to play very simple and imitate what you play. Okay, it's very difficult to do because you have to be comfortable with what you're doing. Let me explain. Idea. Add the addition of a little recording device. Don't be scared. Uh, let's see. Let me play some chords. Let me play a lick. Three, four. sounds like music, doesn't it? Because I have imitation.